Welcome. Today, we'll be going through question four from the Indian Maths Olympiad 2009. All the points in the plane are coloured using three colours. Prove that there exists a triangle with vertices having the same colour such that either it is isosceles or its angles are in geometric progression. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. With such problems, the pigeonhole principle is almost always involved. This problem is no exception. Hint number two. Consider a regular polygon. How could this help with the solution? It may be useful to place this regular polygon inside a circle to help calculate the angles. Hint number three. Consider a regular heptagon. Prove that any triangle formed by its vertices is either isosceles or has angles of geometric progression. Solution. So we will consider a regular heptagon inscribed in a circle. Then by pigeonhole principle, since a regular heptagon has seven vertices, we can find three of the heptagon's vertices that are of the same color. We will now show that these vertices form a triangle that is either isosceles or has angles in geometric progression and the solution will then be complete. So here is our regular heptagon inscribed in a circle and there are four different ways we can draw in the triangle excluding any symmetrical equivalence. So the first three are isosceles and it's quite easy to prove that they're isosceles but the last one is not so simple. Let's look into it a little bit. We will look at all the angles in radians to make the calculations slightly easier. So the sum of angles in a heptagon will be pi multiplied by 7 minus t, which is 5 pi. Since angle BCD is the angle of a regular heptagon, that angle is 5 pi divided by 7, and so is angle CDE. Now consider BCDE. The side length BC is equal to the side length DE, and the angle BCD is equal to the angle CDE. So BCDE is a trapezium, which means that CD is parallel to BE. But this means that angle CDE plus angle DEB is equal to pi. So angle DEB is pi minus angle CDE, which is 5 pi divided by 7. So angle DEB is 2 pi divided by 7. Then considering the isosceles triangle BCD, angle CDB is pi minus 5 pi divided by 7, all that divided by 2, which gives us pi divided by 7. This means that angle EDB is 5 pi divided by 7 minus pi divided by 7, which is 4 pi divided by 7. We are finally left with angle DBE being pi minus 2 pi divided by 7 minus 4 pi divided by 7, which is pi divided by 7. So as we see, because pi divided by 7 multiplied by 2 is 2 pi divided by 7, which multiply that by 2 gives us 4 pi divided by 7, the angles of this triangle are in geometric progression. And so the proof is complete because we have proven that we can find three vertices of the same color on the regular heptagon. And looking back, we had four different possibilities for that triangle. Three were isosceles, 
and the final one had angles in geometric progression, so it is always possible to find such a triangle. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below and see you next time.